Guess Thanks, what we guys. just got, guys? Ooh, very exciting. Ooh, look at how cute that little crate is. It's another gadget. You know, I like gadgets. Shouldn't we have waited till we got it in the bus? No, because there's something we have to do outside first before we put it in the bus. This is how Mike opens everything, you guys. Packaging just flies to the left and to the right. It's like Christmas around here. Almost every day. <laughs> and do you see, I have this kind of excitement every day. Every day. Oh. 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 It's beautiful. <laughs> Whoa, I almost tripped. It's yeah. very cute. It's bolted on. Like the other one. Like the other one we bought that didn't fit in our bus. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> Hopefully this is going to turn out a lot better. Yeah. I like the little window on the front though. That's adorable. It's so cute. You guys, we're going to be toasting marshmallows in this. I mean, that's what we bought it for. See, it has this thing here. Look here. This is a really clever stone. I really like this thing. Can you see that round thing down there? Mm. Yes. Do you see it twisting? Yep. That's to help get the ashes down into the pan right here. Oh. Cool. So it had little pieces that bolted it to its crate and you just take those out? Yeah. Oh. It helps when you watch their little video, actually. So you knew what to expect? Yeah, I did. We have to do the first firing outside. They oh. recommend it because the, the high temperature paint off gases in the first couple burns. Gotcha. God, man. That's a big chunk of metal. So it could be vented from the back or the top. We've chosen to vent from the top. If we could vent from the back, it would be kind of cool just because uh, we could set a pot up here if we wanted to. But Why can't we vent from the back? Uh, because clearance is issue. It makes it too close to the window? Yeah, it just starts getting too close to the window and everything like that. So, so you have to move that little bolt flat plate to the back then. Yeah. That was a pretty neat design on their part. Yeah, this is a cool stove. It really is. The way they did this, did they just did their homework so well. It has like a primary and secondary venting system and like things that like make it uh, you can tune it so well. And then they give you incredible instructions to what temperatures you should get in the flu and stuff like that. Like they were so thorough in their uh, explanation of this thing. It's just, it's a really good stuff. I might actually have to dig in the instructions on this piece here. Can you grab those for me over there? Sure. These are the uh, air control, and so you're supposed to put this on and kind of tighten it down. This one here, however, uses a, a washer and a spring like that. Well, let me just tighten this on real quick and then I'll explain what I was talking about here. 
So this right here, this hole, if you come down here. Yeah, I can see it really come, good. Come down here. Okay, so you have the air hole down here. This is your primary and secondary air control. This here with the spring on it just makes it so it keeps it pressed up against it when it's a little bit loose. So these are what you use to tune your stove to just the right burn. It also has a third air control up here and this one allows air to come in but it also washes straight over the glass right here and it keeps the glass clean. So that's kind of a neat little trick. Secondary air control. Real nice. Just such a nice touch. This thing is a great stove for real. And it comes with a lot of little accessories you need to be able to get out your like your uh, ash pan. And they even say we leave it a scoop like this because we want you to be able to reach in there and scoop out stuff. Ah, it's perfect. Yeah. It's very clever design. Yeah. <clears throat> so the story behind these guys is uh, these people had an Airstream and they went out looking for a small wood stove that would fit in their Airstream and they just weren't satisfied with the design so they set out to design a really good uh, stove for the Airstream and they came up with this design which is actually in uh, three sizes. Uh, they have the uh, three, four, and five kilowatt designs. Which one is this? This is the four. Okay, so in the medium size. Yeah, and one of the reasons we didn't go with the Cubic Mini wood stove is even their, what, the Grizzly model, it, it takes like, like the size of wood you could put in there is not much bigger than like, like a, like a four by four block like this. Like it takes really small pieces of wood. And we really wanted a firebox that would take a little more wood than that. So we could stoke it before we go to bed, turn it way down and hopefully wake up with coals. Chances of that are little, but um, this wood stove is gonna get us closer to waking up with a warm house than say a cubic mini wood. And uh, and what sizes of pieces of wood can we use this? In can this can use eight to 10 inch pieces of wood inside. So, you know, we could put double it, or more than double what you could yeah, put I in think the cubic so, mini. Yeah, it was quite a bit bigger than the yeah. cubic mini one. So. Yeah. Guess what we're getting started on today? Well, okay, getting started would be the wrong choice of words. Yeah. That's the truth. We're getting back to the surround area for our wood burning stove. So we got started on this, I don't even know how many months ago now, um, and we did record it. I have all the footage of making this part, putting the tile down in the surround. I guess I could uh, show a little bit of that right now. Maybe a little bit of a montage. Start to be. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. too late, but I can see past the rain, won't you lay it on me, turn the page and burn it, let's make up a big bonfire, on the beach with the stars as our light. I 
one step away from salvation. Very cool. Then tomorrow, grout. Grout at the devil. Grout. Grout. Grout at the devil. <laughs> Do you ever notice how when I break out singing, it's always like beautiful love songs? And it's lovely. She has anger. Big what? Anger. I just know how to express myself. Test the inconspicuous area to ensure desired results. Straight out to a manageable area, allow it to penetrate for up to five minutes. Immediately wipe off any sealer completely before it dries. To prevent grout from staining porous tile, Apply two coats, then test for stain resistance. It's exactly what we're going to do. Two coats. So we've seen in other people's YouTube videos that they didn't know you had to use a sealer with a porous stone tile. Yeah, it changes the color of the tile completely. Yeah, it, it, it absorbs don't. the grout and shows the color of the grout in the, in the stone tile if you don't seal it first. Following the directions. Sort of, except we should be using a cloth cloth, not a paper towel. Really? Yes. Getting in the, the nooks, but not the crannies. <laughs> I don't oh. believe in crannies. Oh, now you're biased. I don't believe in crannies. I think somebody made that nonsense up. Just started throwing around the word cranny like it meant something. And then we'll be sealed. And then we can grout this thing. And then install the wood stove. Yes! It's gonna be awesome. Here we go with grouting the fireplace area. All right. What do you think? Looks pretty good so far. Here we go. Oh, this is kind of low back here, baby. It's okay. It's not holding water. No, it's just going to hold ashes. Yeah, whatever. It's a stove. That looks pretty, doesn't it? It does. Okay. Now we just have to come back and rub it with a dry t-shirt. When And we're not going to wait the full two hours that the packaging said. Not in Arizona. No, we'll go to 1640. Give it about 40 minutes. Echo, set a timer for one hour. One hour, starting now. There it is. It looks really good. Yeah. Cool. Our little hearth. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. All right, I know this may look funny. Building a fire and a wood burning stove out in the yard. But this is actually in the instructions. This is what you're supposed to do. Yep. It cures the paint. And when, while it's curing, a lot of gases can be released. So you want to do this outside so you don't stink up and okay. put toxic chemicals inside your. Uh... Gotcha. You don't want to fill up your house with the chemicals. You want to do it out yeah. in the open air. I love wood stove. I'm so excited. I know. You've been waiting for this moment for so long. For a long time. This little guy is so cute, though. Yeah. I love the size. I love that he's just not too tiny, but not too big. It's the perfect size for our bus. It totally is. It cost an arm and a leg, but we can limp. We can limp. Yeah, I sure did. I love this little guy. It's a good one, huh? It is. It has so much air control in it. That's cool. Oh. That was a little bit heavy. 
<laughs> it's pretty heavy. Good job, baby. Oh, now you gotta turn it around. Give me a sec. <laughs> what, you wanna catch your breath too? Gosh. You're never satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> they said it's 100 pounds, but it felt more than that. <laughs> <laughs> work. Look, look at that. It's just the right size. Absolutely like, the perfect size. Exactly right. Yeah. That's crazy how perfect. High five on that one, honey. That was good a good work. one. Good work. Not I've had a coronary, possibly a stroke. <laughs> right. <laughs> you may never recover from this. Man. <laughs> Take a seat. Now all you gotta do is Cut another hole in the ceiling. Yeah, right. Your favorite. I got this. I know you do. I got this. I feel good about this, actually. I'm feeling really good about this. So, I've been drilling a couple holes here. I need a total of four of them so that we can uh, secure this thing down. So, the bottom of this thing uses M8 bolts, which are metric, and there's three of the four right there, but I had to get some longer ones because we're going to bolt up to the bottom. a new leaf obviously I do this every time I work I wish All right. All right. success Now when we install the blue pipe and stuff like that, this thing will never, ever, 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 ever move. And if it does, we have way bigger problems to contend with. <laughs> like we're upside down at the bottom of a ravine. Even then, I'm, I think it'd stay. <laughs> Probably, I think you're right. <laughs> it's buff. We just hang upside down like a bat. Yeah. There it it's is. It's such a cute But not too stove. tight to crack all the tile underneath it. Oh, gotcha. And that's gotcha. the key. We were going to put this off since we only have two more days left to be in this house, but all of a sudden Mike stood up and said, you better get the camera. I was like, what? You're drilling the hole in the ceiling now? Oh, this is going to be enjoyable. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just like every time before. See what I mean? Yep. <laughs> Tried to get me. It's trying to get me. All right, flung hot metal scraps at me. I'm getting shrapnel over here. She got wounded. Oh, there's no fun in this. No, son, this is war. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> War as hell. <laughs> exactly. It's making this whole waller out like here. Oh really? Yeah, it's like big. Now. Oh, I can see that. I might need to use a jig. So, well, you've got a good pattern cut now, this right? Is the truth. Oh man. Oh, we have to go get it out of storage. Two thousand storage. Oh. Yeah. Well, at least it's not far to go. All right, here we go. Bueno. Oh. 
oh my shaking God. my brain. It's insanely loud. It's shaking my brain. You don't have any brains. <laughs> so I was just kidding. <laughs> Whoa. Any wires. Well, I'm glad to hear that. As am I. How are you going to put the whole jigsaw in there? I'm going to go outside. Oh, and you're just marking the center of it? Yeah, so I'm going to take see. this blade outside now, since I know I can't get this underneath the, the outside, and I'll take the last pencil on earth and mark it. Okay, don't lose the last pencil on earth. I'll try not to. Alright, super glad we got this. There it is. I think I need to widen the hole at this end too. Because it's not... Like this goes straight up to that hole right there as it gets up here. Oh, it wants to go at an angle. Yeah. I think I gotta move some back here to you. Inside down here. That saw is doing terrible things with this fiberglass. It's shredding it up and then I can see it floating in the air and settling down over everything. That's awesome. Yeah, we're gonna be all itchy. Or at least we'll be warm and itchy. That's right. You sure we don't need more of that skinny black stove pipe? Well, at this point I think we do. Want me to try it? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Okay, how about that? That looks cool. That looks better. Does it? Yeah. Looks more right. Okay. Look at all these cool parts we got for the wood burning stove. This kind of tool, huh? Yeah. Hey, do you guys want to see something really crazy? Look at the garage. OMG. Right? Remember the disgusting mess that used to reside in this garage? This is all we have left here right now. It was just organized chaos is all it was. You wouldn't know. No, it was disorganized chaos. It was chaotic chaos. You're crazy. It's beautiful. In there. Whatever. Turning off. This is the collar that secures the whole thing. So it's not just sitting there. All right, I think I'm gonna need the red toolbox. The big red case? It's the one. Let's see here. Look you guys, here's another brand new tool set Mike just bought at the end of our build. Needed to have his important step in the yeah, build, in, obviously. You needed it three years ago, obviously. I did, I needed it then too. You needed some organization in your life and of course these parts are all going to be lost in no time. They're never going to stay this organized. I can't see exactly everything that you're doing up there, so tell us 
um, what video you watched, how you learned to do what you're doing. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so, actually, uh, I think it was, uh, well, I'll note here right here, but it, I think it was Stormy Schooly, and they had an installation video of the 4K um, dwarf wood stove, dwarf 4K wood stove. And so we watched that. I know that dwarf, uh, dwarf uh, tinywoodstove.com, I think they have a video also, but this is the first one that popped up. And as I started watching it, they look like they're reasonably uh, competent. So they did, it looks like they did a really good job. So I just followed their lead on that. The reason we cut off these things, if you can see right here. Those little brackets. Yeah, they, I wanted them to fit easily under the boot and not affect any seal that we might get right here. Right, we want it to be watertight. So, yeah. Is that some special product that came with the stove? Yeah. Cool. Man, this stuff doesn't come out very fast. You're getting all kinds of it gushed out now. Yeah. God, this whole installation seems like it's been like a little too simple. Bite your tongue. <laughs> okay. So he's putting silicone all the way around that rubber boot thing. And pressing it onto the roof. I'm screwing this to the roof right now. Screw it! Screw that. I'll screw every like two inches maybe. Half. This is a really good uh, system I got here. Very excited about this. Yeah, I am too. These are like my favorite part of this. It's just, I don't know, they just look so good. I can't see it because your hands are covering it. Uh, you're just going to have to deal with that for a second. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm sure nobody has any idea what we're talking about because you can't see it. These are just uh, these little couplers here. Just are such a nice touch. Yeah, they're cool looking. And look at that. I mean, so nice. So nice. These little colors just kind of bring it all together. Oh, it's just like a little hose clamp feely. Yep. And it tightens down really well. Wow. And it's solid there. Those are neat. Yeah, I really like it, man. So we got two more to do on the roof and put the rest of the roof stack on. So cool. <laughs> so do we get to call it a night for tonight then? We sure do. Thank goodness. Because we're done. <laughs> it's done. Is it completely done? That's it. Wow. That was a pretty quick install. <laughs> So while I was vacuuming up the mess, Mike was finishing the last part of the project and I didn't see him doing it. I didn't know he was doing it, so I couldn't film it. But these are, um, these two, how would you describe this? They're two like U-shaped pieces. And so you slide one end from one side and one end from the other side. I'm sorry I didn't show you. <laughs> But anyway, the two pieces slide together and cover all the damage that we did to the ceiling. And that's how that works. As usual, I missed it again. Mike took a whole section of the stovepipe out and is dropping this down to a much lower height so we don't have this gargantuan thing sticking up off the deck anymore. And this isn't a, this isn't a for sure thing. Right now, I'm just more concerned about driving down the road and having this much up here just for wind resistance alone. Not to, that's going to change the mileage or anything. It's more like it's just going to put a lot of pressure on this thing uh, being up that high. Um, but being down this low, we risk embers 
coming up out of this thing and not going up off the top but you know falling down on the deck do we have to worry about fire probably not but at the same time uh, this might go back on I'm gonna put it in our little fancy thing we just installed over here I'm just gonna keep it in case you need to reinstall it yep sounds good I like your plan so but we'll try it like this I mean it's, I don't think it's gonna change the draft very much I like this a lot better it's like I just felt like it was just too out there it was at 13 feet measured to the ground which would have got us under any overpass that we would have come in contact with in the United States as far as common there are some other ones that are marked lower it looked really out of place before it was standing up so high it looks kind of um Beverly Hillbillies before. yeah it's almost dangerously too <laughs> right <high. laughs> check this out though Oh, you just, oh. So this is a, uh, a travel lid. Yeah, boy, like, it's shiny. It's it like a freaking mirror. It is. That's a travel cap. And a shaving mirror. Indeed. I'm old. <laughs> this is not a very good travel cap. You know, <laughs> grandpa man. Makes me look old and distorted. Makes me look old. Nope, that's just how you look. <laughs> This seems like something we might want to hold on to. Oh, put it in the box on top? Yeah, because this is like the travel lid. We could take off the... If we needed to or wanted to. Yeah. Or maybe you could do that, use that for the whole summertime. Like just take that top piece off and put that on for summer. So much, yeah. Stop any draft. Yeah. Any cool air from escaping. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, or maybe we put this on when we go to a place that doesn't allow wood stoves. Like, I'm sure the Garden of the Gods is not going to let us use a wood stove in there. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I'll have a little meltdown. So, but if we put this on to show that it's capped off and not uh, usable like that, I think they wouldn't have a problem. So, that's good to know. Yeah. This is where we store things in our bench seat. Or table. You know, whatever you want to use it as. Definitely needs to Could be a foot rest when we're in our chairs up there. Like this? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get a clear shot of this pose. <laughs> you look like the Renaissance man. <laughs> Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn. in the flame.